this might be one of the most important episodes that I filmed up until now for Rooted in Retail because we are talking about AI, artificial intelligence. I'm going to go specifically deep on chat GPT and really break down what it is, why you would be using it, how you can be using it, why it's so important, all the specifics for retailers. And before you click off and exit out and you're like, nah, no thanks, I don't want to learn about that. Or um, you feel like, oh, my head's going to just, my mind's going to explode. I don't know if I could take in this information. Or if you're just like, oh, I'll get to it. Like make this a priority. This is important to learn. In fact, the CEO of Google said, AI is one of the most profound things we're working on as humanity. It's more profound than fire or electricity. Think about that for a second. And I don't know if he's wrong. It's really crazy. It's such a fast moving industry. And we've talked a little bit about it on as several different episodes, but we're going to go deep today and really help you understand kind of from the beginning of what ChatGPT is and why you should be using it. So let's dive in. Welcome to Rooted in Retail, the show that's dedicated to helping independent retailers thrive in today's ever evolving retail landscape. I'm your host, Crystal Vilkaitis, and I'm thrilled to have you join me weekly as we explore topics that are vital to the success of your store. From marketing to mindset, money to merchandising, sales to leadership, we'll cover it all. Each episode features interviews with industry experts and accomplished retailers who share their real life insights and actionable advice. Get ready for a great conversation on how to build your dream business with Rooted in Retail. All right. So ChatGPT started, it launched the end of last year. It was, I believe it was the beginning of November. And I heard about it because I was scrolling through TikTok and my feed was blowing up about this new tool and how it's going to totally change marketing and how uh, it's totally going to change copywriting and how a lot of people are going to be out of jobs and then how it's going to totally change how we plan and it's going to save time and it's going to change business and it's going to change our lives. And it's just been evolving so fast. Uh, and so I want to just kind of break down ChatGPT and help you understand how you specifically can be using it. So at Evolve, I had a whole presentation about all the different prompts, the different things that you could be using this for. And there's a lot of things you can use ChatGPT for, but I want to be really focused uh, and really connect it to your retail store and your marketing and give you a lot of ideas. So before I do that, ChatGPT is a language model developed by OpenAI. So if you are going to go and use this platform, you're going to go to chat.openai.com. And that's where you'll sign up. You will create your username and a login. And then you can start chatting away. And when you do that, it's going to show you some prompts on the screen so you can kind of get, a, get an example or an idea of the type of stuff that you might be putting into ChatGPT. But there are so, it's like endless of what you could be putting into this thing. So, J the thing is with ChatGPT is it uses machine learning to understand and generate human-like text based on the input it receives. And not like this is something you're ever going to need or be quizzed on, but in case you're wondering what G GPT means, it's generative pre-trained transformer is what that stands for. And so basically... This technology has learned a ton of information, like it's read all sorts of information on the internet and stores it. It just needs to read it once and boom, it's stored. And so it has all of this information in its, you know, AI brain that can answer qu questions and give content and solutions really quickly. So you will go to ChatGPT and you'll put in a prompt, which is typically some sort of question or an action that you want this prompt to do in regards to giving a list or an outline or giving an answer or um, writing copy, or I'm going to give you all sorts of ideas today. And within seconds, it gives you information. It gives you whatever you're looking for. This is like the competitor to Google. So 
With Google, you go and you're searching on Google.com and it's an intent-based search, right? You have a, a need, you want to find something to buy, a thing to a place to go to, or you are researching and you have questions. You go to Google and then you have like millions of search results, and you're typically only looking at the first page, and you're typically only looking at the top couple. And you kind of have to like siphon through all this information and do some reading and maybe watch some videos to try to find the answer that you're looking for. Chat GPT just made your life a whole lot easier because now instead of going to Google and, and sifting through all of the search results, you can just go to Chat GPT and ask it and it's going to give you the question or the answer very quickly. It's going to give you content ideas very quickly. It's going to write stuff for you and it's a matter of seconds. So if you're brand new and you've never been, I have to share this. It was so funny because at Evolve, I talked a lot about AI and ChatGPT. And at our cocktail reception, uh, Dustin, my fiance, who is super into AI, he really gets it. Like his brain, I feel like there are certain people that really get this technology. Their brain just totally understands it and they have really creative ways of using it. That is Dustin. And so um, a lot of the conversations he was having with retailers at our cocktail party was around AI and ChatGPT. And so one of the retailers went upstairs, got her laptop, brought it back down, and he was helping her set it up and just showing her different prompts that she could put in based off of her business, based off of her goals, just working like all these ideas. And Dustin saw her the next morning and she was like, yeah, I was up till 2 a.m. I couldn't stop playing with ChatGPT. It was pretty incredible because what ends up happening is your mind just gets blown you are just wildly impressed with the information that it gives you. And so then you're like, what else, What will it say if I give this prompt and this prompt? And like, you're just kind of going. So I really recommend if you haven't done this already, you can go to chat.openai.com, set up your account and start plugging in some prompts. And I'll give you prompts in this episode. That could be a really great starting point for you. But the easiest way to learn something like this is to use it hands down the easiest. You could totally listen to a lot of stuff and watch a lot of stuff. And I hope this episode helps guide you. But the best way to do it is use it. So dive in and just start plugging away at the different prompts. Now, the thing is, is that um, I want the, the key to success with ChatGPT is going to be the prompt. You want to have a really good prompt that you're putting in to get a really good answer right? So the more specific you can be, the more direction you can give, the more information you can give, it's going to give the machine bot more information to produce a better quality answer for you. You could start simply and then work your way into it. The more you use it, the the more you're going to understand how to really write great prompts. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to having a really good prompt. Now, in my opinion, this is so important because we've never seen technology like this adapt so quickly, like for the consumer to download this or sign up and create an account. I don't have the exact numbers on me right now, but I believe it was like over a hundred million people within the first month of ChatGPT being live signed up for a free account. We've never seen that kind of result before with any kind of social media site or app or tool to have people register like that. Now, it is free. You can go and sign up for a free account. They also have a paid version. I believe it's $19.99 a month. That gives you ChatGPT 4. So it's like a better version of the free version of 3 or 3.5. Um, I have tested both. I have a paid version. I for me personally, I haven't seen a big difference between the two. If I see that change, then I'll let you know. But for me, I haven't seen a big difference. So I think you're fine with doing the free version, especially as you're learning this technology. So the thing is, is I think it's so important because of how fast people are using it and getting it. I think from a business perspective, I call this your silent employee. This is somebody who can totally be your assistant without you having to pay for them. And they're really fast and they're really efficient and they're going to help you get a lot done. The thing that happens with 
a lot of projects like brainstorming projects, creative projects, marketing, content, social media, writing anything like sales page copy, product descriptions, press releases, writing an employee up, responding to customer reviews, any of that stuff can be hard to get started, right? So if it's hard to get started, we procrastinate because it we just do the easy stuff first. I'm just going to get the, you know, we always start with the easy stuff. Well, now with your silent employee, this admin assistant person, that's really about, you can go and just plug in the thing that you need to get done. What do you need? Plug it into there and boom, it's going to give you that outline. It's going to give you a bunch of content ideas. It's going to give you the research that you've been looking for. It's going to write up the employee for you. It's going to write the product descriptions for you. It's going to respond to the negative review for you. And then you'll take that information whatever it is, and you'll proof it. You'll edit it. If it's anything that's written, that's going to be published, make it sound like you. If you need to change some things around, add your own spin on it. You might even add, um, you might check to see if it's plagiarized, which I'll talk about in this episode, but you know, you're, you're using that, but boom, the hardest part is done. Now you've got what you need to just kind of like siphle through it, edit it, do what you got to do. And then it's done. So it saves you so much time. And then in that sense of like researching and creating your social media content ideas, I mean, that's been the hardest part for retailers over all these years of me working with them is coming up with what to post. It's the number one question I get asked. And it's the number one opened emails that we send to our retailers. It's one of the top engaged with posts that we post on social media is anytime we're giving content ideas. And that's because it's hard to come up with these ideas we feel stuck. We don't feel creative. We're just doing a million things. And so we look to outsiders to come up with these ideas for us. Well, now you could just go to ChatGPT and it's better. And I'm being completely transparent here. It's better than the ideas we're going to give you because you can make it geared towards your specific store. At Crystal Media, we'll give you ideas and some might be for pet, some might be for jewelers, some might be for gift stores, but they're not always your specific type of business. And so you can go to ChatGPT and say, give me 10 social media post ideas for a hobby store, for a quilt shop, for a quilt shop that's in this certain location, for a quilt shop that only sells online, for a quilt shop that serves, you know, primarily 20 to 40 year old women who live in this area. You know, you can get a lot more detailed and ChatGPT is going to come back with all these ideas for you in a matter of seconds. So is Crystal Media out of business? No, (laughs) there's a lot of teaching and support and we do a lot of done for you services, but has some of these things that we offered as a benefit to our retailers. Do we need to do that anymore? No, here's the deal. We, because of ChatGPT, um, I announced this at Evolve for our insider members with our membership This is where you get training, you get accountability to make sure you're doing your social media consistently and doing it well. You get monthly training, you get weekly social media challenges, you get a a ton of great stuff in our insider membership for just $97 a month. I announced at Evolve that I'm going to start doing AI training every month because this technology you can't ignore. I would be doing my members a complete disservice if I was not showing up and helping guide them through these uncharted territories. It's insane what we're seeing. And I feel like we don't even know 1% of what's about to come. So I'm going to stay on top of it. And I'm going to help navigate these waters for our insider members. And of course, I'll talk about it on this show too. But if you need additional training and support with AI, as well as social media, check out our insider membership, crystalmediaco.com slash insiders. But it's, that's how serious we are about this technology is that we are adding consistent, um, trainings. Pretty much all of my trainings now when I'm speaking are talking about AI. It's, I think it's more powerful than social media. When it first started, I knew that social media was going to be life-changing. I just knew it. I just saw it. And I got in really early from almost the very beginning 
in 2007, 2008, I created my first YouTube video about social media training. And my family thought I was nuts. They were like, this isn't, what is social media? Like, what do you do? This isn't a career. This isn't a job. Like, you're going to be out of business. This, no, why? You just graduated. Do something better. You have student loan debt. And I was right. And I think I, I know I'm right with AI too. And I think I'm also right in the sense that we don't, even it hasn't even begun, I feel like. But what's available today is really incredible. And I do want to address the elephant in the room that if you are watching any kind of media, um, you know, Datelines, I think it was Dateline. I don't, I don't really watch these like mainstream shows, but there was a some sort of show that was mainstream a few, I think, month ago that did a whole segment on AI. And talked about ChatGPT. And there is some doom and gloom with this industry too. You know, we, Elon Musk has come out and said, well, I think we're in trouble if we don't regulate what these bots can do. Um, and so there is this whole other side of, is this going to get out of control? Is this going to, you know, make humanity go away forever and kill us all and we don't exist anymore. And I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. Um, I have no idea, right? Not. I think a lot of us just really don't know. Like the average user of this technology has no idea. So there is that. There is that side of it. And I'm not blind to that. I am keeping my you know ear to the ground and trying to understand as much as I can. But I will say that from a positive perspective and a business perspective in marketing and social media, this can really help your business. So I think that it's really important for you to understand it, for you to use it, for you to get the training, for you to get the support. And I just want to give you some specific prompts and um, just to help you understand like the types of things that you could be putting into ChatGPT. Now, you could just go to ChatGPT and ask it what you should ask it. <laughs> so if you're like, what are the best prompts to ask chat GPT in regards to X, Y, Z, or you could even leave it open. What are the best prompts to ask chat GPT? And it will give you the prompts. Then you take one of those prompts and then you ask that. But so for example, I put in, um, what are some good chat GPT prompts for independent retailers? And I went through that list and I took out the ones that I didn't think were great. And I compiled this list of over 50 prompts and I gave it to our Evolve attendees. Our insiders are going to get this too. And here are just some of the things that it came up with. What are some effective ways to increase foot traffic in my store? What are some best practices for managing inventory in a retail store? How can I motivate my sales team to sell more? What are some strategies to reducing operating costs in a retail store? How can I better understand my target market and their needs? What are some effective ways to upsell products in a retail store? I actually want to go back to the previous one of understanding your target market. I saw a video where somebody was putting in, write a journal entry as if you are someone who is, and they entered their perfect customer. So I talk about perfect customer groups. You should identify who those people are and create marketing for them. Because when we target, when we think of that one person, our marketing and our copy and our social media is so specific to that person that it helps us intercept people's attention online versus interrupt it. It helps them pay attention. It helps the algorithms deliver that information to the right person too. So if you're asking ChatGPT, like if I take my perfect customer and if I think, you know, she's... 50. She is a woman. She owns a brick and mortar retail store. I might even put in the type of store. I might say pet store, toy store, jeweler. I might, you know, get that specific. And I'll list some of the challenges that she has, some of the things I know she goes through, some of the frequently asked questions that my retailers have asked me over all these years. And I I draw her out, right? I just explain my one of my perfect customers. And I ask ChatGPT to write a journal entry that this person would write. And when you do that, it helps you peek behind the curtain of their challenges. How would they be saying something? How, what are they researching? What do they need support in? And so I, I have to, I know that some people are listening to this right now and they're like, that's 
stupid. <laughs> They're like, no, there's no way that this thing is like emotional and is going to write those things. Like, how would it even know what my customers, what's keeping them up at night and what they would journal? Like, that's all made up. Just try it. Just try it and see what it says. And the copy you get back is there an opportunity for you to take some of those words, some of those one-liners, maybe even a paragraph that you're reading that really resonates with your perfect customer and use it in email copy, use it as a subject line, use it as a social media post. You have a picture, you address this whole thing. Do you feel like, and you just have that journal entry? Try it because there's a good chance you'll see a lot more engagement on that type of content because you resonated with them. People on social media want relevant content that they resonate with. They want connection. And so when you can create copy that connects deeply, then that's pretty powerful. And again, like I talked about, it's so hard to get started. So ChatGPT can get this going for you. You can fine tune it of what you know about your customers or how you might say something. Do you want to spend an entire day in Nashville, Tennessee with me, learning all about social media, creating your social media plan, knowing your who, what, when, where, why, all the apps, all the ways that you should be using Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and more. If you want to do that with me in person on July 24th, then I've got great news. We are doing a social media day in Nashville, Tennessee, and we have 40 tickets available. This is an intimate experience to really get your plan up and running. You feel super confident with your social media. You know what's working today. You know what's coming in the future of social media as well, so you're prepared. And for attendees, you're also going to get a workbook with all the slides that we cover, so you can take that back to your team. You might even want to bring somebody on your team, like your social media coordinator. You're going to get a 12-month social media planner. We're going to feed you lunch. You're going to get Q&A time. You're going to get networking time and more. These are powerful events. We've done several in the past. People love them. So if this sounds good to you, then go to crystalmediaco.com, click on products, and then scroll down to social media day. You can get more information there and secure your ticket. I would love to see you in Nashville. Okay. Going back to some of these prompts. Um, How can I improve the customer experience in my store? What are some ways to reduce shrinkage in a retail store? How can I optimize my store layout to improve sales? Um, Effective pricing strategies for a retail store. You might also get more specific and say that your type of store, maybe even including your location. How can I better train my staff to provide excellent customer service? How can I effectively manage my store's finances? I mean, there's so it talks about positive company culture. How do you create that in a retail environment? Um, how can I effectively use promotions and discounts to drive sales in my store? How can I create an omni-channel experience? Um, you know, and then some of the prompts that I gave to Evolve attendees is um, list content ideas for a weekly email going to women 20 to 40 who shop at my gift shop. I put in the demographic there so it could tend, you know, be a little younger. Like if you have a younger audience or older audience, tell ChatGPT that because it will modify how it's writing things to sound more relevant to those age groups, which is really fascinating. Um, I had it write job descriptions for a social media manager or assistant store manager. And again, you're just reading through those, proof them, edit them so it makes sense for your store. But boom, the work is done. Um, Write up an employee for being late again. Uh, Write a professional response to a negative review. And I pasted in a review that I found of a local business, a negative local business. Um, And it was just, it was incredible. I mean, I can even read you some of these responses. Um, You know, I also teach a lot about setting up smart goals for your store. And then you reverse engineer those goals and create specific campaigns and strategies for social media to help you hit those goals. And I have training that's coming all about this, like super deep, amazing training called the retailer's roadmap to simplified marketing. And it's going to be out in June. So if you need training, you know, really want to understand a system for your social media, stay tuned. That's coming out in June. I'm super stoked for that. But Like if one of your smart goals was you wanted to double your sales for a specific category 
by a specific date, you could plug that in to ChatGPT and it's going to give you ideas. So it can reverse engineer that goal for you and create those specific strategies that you can just pick two or three that you move forward with. Um, let me get to some of these results here. Oh, I oh, create a weekly social media schedule for whatever kind of store you are. I did a toy store. So for example, in this toy store, it said, um, Monday, feature a new toy of the week with a product photo and description. Encourage followers to visit the store website to learn more. Tuesday, share user-generated content posts featuring a customer's child playing with a toy from the store. This is a great way to showcase the toys in action and engage with followers. Wednesday, share a video of a staff member demoing a new or popular toy, highlighting its features and benefits. Thursday, throwback Thursday, share a photo of a classic toy from the past and encourage followers to share their favorite child to toys in the comment. Friday, ha- share a fun DIY craft or game that can be made using items found in the store. This is a great way to engage with followers and showcase the store's product in a unique way. Saturday, share a fun photo of the store's mascot or a staff member playing with toys in the store. Encourage followers to visit the store and join in on the fun. Sunday, share a motivational or inspirational quote related to play or childhood development, reminding followers of the importance of playtime and learning throughout the day or in learning through play. See how that was really easy to come up with those ideas. You just put the prompt in and within seconds, all this information was here. You can modify some of this. You can move around different days. You can maybe have your own thing you want to throw in there, but boom, it's done. I also asked it to put all that information into a table and it will structure it into a table versus bullet it out. Um, let's see, uh, some other ideas too, I gave, um, oh, I want to specifically call out this one. So I asked ChatGPT to write five hooks that are up to 10 seconds long that are video scripts for the first part of an Instagram reel talking about dog food. So see how I I'm getting a little bit more specific here your hooks at the beginning of videos need to hook people, need to tell people why they need to keep listening or keep watching. Otherwise, they're going to keep scrolling. So we want to be really in there. So this is, is your dog a picky eater? Watch this video to discover the secret to getting your furry friend excited about mealtime. How about, do you want to keep your furry friend healthy and happy? In this video, we reveal the secret to choosing the best dog food. Here's another one. Attention all dog owners. In this video, we share the ultimate guide to feeding your furry friend. Watch now and discover what your pup needs to thrive. Um, are you tired of buying expensive dog food that doesn't live up to its promises? See how these are hooks? This is all marketing copy. I don't think that majority of humans are good at writing hooks and subject lines and marketing copy. It's hard. They can fall flat and it's frustrating. It takes us forever to do. ChatGPT can do this for you. I then um, did that for a quilt shop. I said, give me five more talking about a quilt shop. And then I wanted to add in numbers because when you have like top three ways, top five things, the top 10 list, numbers really work well on social media and in emails. So I said, rewrite these to include specific numbers to quantify the content of this video. And so this one, this example is hook ideas for a quilt store with specific numbers to quantify the content of this video. So here's some examples it gave me. In this video, we showcase 10 new fabrics and and patterns that just arrived at our quilt shop. Get a sneak peek of what's in store and start planning your next quilting project today. Calling all quiltsers. Watch this video to see our top five favorite fabrics and patterns from our latest shipment. Looking for a quilting challenge? In this video, we showcase 10 intricate patterns that will put your skills to the test. Watch now and discover your next quilting adventure. See how these are just more interesting? Could you totally, like if you were a quilt shop, could you totally create content around that? I bet you could. So this is not only giving you the content idea, it's giving you the hook of what to say up front too. You could also ask for it to give you the CTA or the clothes. How do you want to, you know, finalize these things? Um, I also picked attendees from the audience at Evolve and I rewrote their product descriptions from their website. I found a retailer that didn't have any product descriptions. And so I just pasted the name of the product into ChatGPT and said, write a keyword rich product description for and the name of the product. 
which was a yarn. Um, and it came back with this amazing, it was salesy, it had keywords. It was so good. And I said to my attendees, imagine if you don't have any product descriptions or you don't have any keyword rich product descriptions on your website, imagine, let's say you have a hundred products on your site. Imagine using ChatGPT. Maybe it's going to take you an hour to do those hundred prod, um, product descriptions. Cause you're just asking, it writes it all for you. And then you're pasting those into your website. Immediately, you just got a lot more SEO love, search engine optimization love, because we actually have keyword rich descriptions and it's going to help sell the product. When you don't have any information about the product on your website, you're not helping customers sell it. You're creating confusion. You're not creating the confidence. I need to read about it. how can I be using it? You know, one of the product descriptions that it wrote for um, a jelly cat blossom heart blush bunny, it's like a little bunny stuffed animal. The, um, the, the description that was before was on the retailer's website, Piccolo Mundo website is what I use. Blossom Bunny can't wait to join the picnic. The Bobtail Popper, uh, Bopper has every, this is, it's so hard to read on my screen right now. So I'm like trying to read this. Um, this Bobtail Bopper has even brought some flowers. Um, creamy soft fur with a pink bubble nose um, and blossom ears and paws. The bunny brings the springtime. And then it just has like the dimensions. Okay. That was it. Not very salesy. Like if a mom is reading that, she's like, oh, okay. I had to rewrite it to be keyword rich. And this is what ChatGPT wrote, rewrote the description. And all that I had was write a keyword rich description for the jelly cat blossom heart blush bunny. Meet the Jelly Cat Blossom Heart Blush Bunny, the perfect companion for your little one. This adorable plush toy is made from high quality materials and is incredibly soft and cuddly. The bunny is adorned with a cute heart shaped nose and a beautiful blush colored fur that's surely to delight your child's senses. Measuring approximately 12 inches in size, this toy is easy for little hands to carry, to hold and carry around. The Jelly Cat Blossom Heart Blush Bunny is the perfect gift for birthdays, holidays, or just because. It's also a great addition to any nursery or playroom. So why wait? Order yours today and watch your child fall in love with this charming bunny. Wow. I got ideas. Who's this for for gifts? How old are you going to be using this? Like from the nursery perspective, little hands can hold it. I, I mean, like it sells it so much better. Crazy, right? I think it's just so amazing. Oh, I also had to write a blog post for one of our evolved attendees um, to give top trends for 2023. They own a men's suit company. So I said, write a keyword rich blog post focusing on summer 2023 suit trends for men's for men for the store Guys and Co. that's in Highland Park, Illinois, that sells men's suits, men's dress shirts, and offers suit appointments. And it came up with all the top trends, which in case you want to know is lightweight fabrics, soft and muted colors, unstructured blazers, pattern play. And it talks about suit appointments. That's the fifth bullet. And that's a great CTA. So it's helping drive business and telling people to make their appointment. Now, of course, if you were guys in co, you go through here and be like, do I agree with these? I would swap this out. You're proofing it. Now I talked about plagiarism because there are definitely things that, um, there are unknowns. We don't know exactly where, so where the content's being sourced from. Is it copying word for word for something? So this is where we want to use tools. This is where we want to edit it, make it sound like us. And then you can use tools from a plagiarism perspective. Grammarly.com is something that I we use already at Crystal Media because it checks your errors for grammar and spelling. You can They now have an AI tool where you could paste in and see if it's plagiarized at all. There are other tools out there if you're using other tools, but especially if you're going to be publishing anything publicly like a blog post, an article, a press release, like anything like that. Make sure, I really recommend that you put your own spin on it, that you rewrite pieces of it, like I really can't recommend that enough. And then you can also check from a plagiarism perspective. Uh, so Grammarly is what I recommend there. Um, and that's just grammar and then M-A-R-L-Y.com, Grammarly.com. 
at Evolve, I also showed some like AI pictures. You can get AI headshots. You can have AI design a logo for you. You, I had Canva AI design French bulldogs on the moon. Um, and it came back with some really cool pictures, which can be used for fun social media content. Like you could do really creative stuff depending on your store and your customers and, and the content that you're wanting to post and, and get out there. But I just really wanted to tell you, I'm just checking my notes real quick um, to make sure I covered the highlights here that you, we could go really deep with this and I'm, I'm not going to go really deep anymore from what we've done today. There's a lot of prompts that we covered. And again, just logging in, setting up your account and going through. Now, ChatGPT isn't the only tool. I believe Jasper is another one. So maybe that's the AI tool you've been using for copy. Um, then you could keep using that. I've just, um, ChatGPT has been the one that I've been using and that I feel most comfortable teaching and talking about. Um, Whatever you're going to use, I think it's really important to do this. And we're seeing so many AI tools pop up now. Google has one now. I mean, I think we're going to see all the major. I think Microsoft has one too. So, um, or maybe Microsoft is connected to ChatGPT. Obviously, there's a lot I need to learn, and I'm going to be very transparent with that. Uh, there's a lot I need to learn, and I'm going to learn it, and I'm going to help guide our retailers, and we're going to be in this journey together. It, you know, I talk about in the intro that retail can be tough, but it doesn't have to be lonely. Well, technology and keeping up with that can be tough too. It also doesn't have to be lonely. I'm here for you. You know, if you have questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram or you can email hello at crystalmediaco.com and I will do my best to answer. And I would love to know your questions because I would be happy to answer them on this show too. So we can add value to all the listeners um, that are, are listening. And if you're an insider, like I said, be on the lookout. We're going to be sending some, I'm going to be doing some monthly training around AI just to keep us all up to date and make sure we're leveraging this. So I hope you found this episode helpful. If you did share it with a retailer friend or share it on social and tag some people, tag me. I want to see you listening. And I just remember that I am rooting for your success and have a great week ahead. Bye. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world to me. Don't forget to join the Rise and Shine newsletter, which is social media news you need to know sent via email every Monday morning. Go to crystalmediaco.com slash rise to join. And don't miss the newest episode of Rooted in Retail, which drops every Sunday morning.